On Thursday, Law and & Order made its eagerly awaited return to NBC for the mid-season premiere with a highly anticipated major crossover. Actress, Cameron Mannheim lifted the lid on the challenging aspect of her reunion with Olivia Benson, played by Mariska Hargitay. After a lengthy hiatus, Law & Order season 22 returned with a huge crossover which saw the cast of its hit spin-offs, SBU and Organized Crime working together. On Land of Opportunity, Cosgrove, Jeffrey Donovan, and Shaw, Macad Brooks, uncovered a mysterious cover-up after a homeless immigrant was murdered. Commanding Officer Kate Dixon, Cameron Mannheim, was helping the SVU team with an intriguing case. Although Dixon was able to implement her sign language skills, the actress spoke on the challenges of doing so, on screen. The episode saw Dixon reunite with Benson and work with the SVU to settle mysterious closed cases. Their investigation revolved around a rapist who only assaulted local deaf women. Dixon knew how to communicate with sign language as she had a deaf son and was therefore able to speak to the victims. Together they interviewed a victim who has been waiting 10 years to tell her story and says when she signed help, an officer thought she was pulling a gun and handcuffed her so she couldn't sign. Although the case was successfully closed, actress Cameron highlighted a challenge she faced being the scenes. Cameron said, the episode itself is very fascinating and made even more fascinating by having four deaf actors on the show who are fantastic. What was important to me was that we get the procedure right about how we use interpreters or if it's okay to have a lieutenant come over from another precinct and interpret for deaf people. It's very tricky and you want to get it right, she added. Here's a look at the guest cast of the Law & Order mid-season premiere and so I was able to have really meaningful conversations with the writers and talk to them about the best way to teach the audience how this should be handled inside a precinct and how it should be handled properly. Speaking to TV Insider, Cameron shared, that was really exciting for me, to be a part of that discussion. As well as Dixon's ability to sign, viewers also learned she had a deaf son, who has yet to appear on screens. While she is often seen behind her desk or on the field hard at work, Dixon's personal life has yet to be explored. During her interview, Cameron also addressed this and revealed, I would love to see a little bit more of their personal lives. While fans will have to stay tuned to see if Cameron's son will be introduced, during the episode they got to see the fallout of Rollins, Kelly Giddish, departure. Fen Tutalola, Ice T, couldn't believe she was gone and was heartbroken to discover she left behind her taxidermied chipmunk, which Benson told him to put away. Though fans were glad to see the crossover, many were still saddened by Rollins' exit, while others hoped to see Dixon at SVU more often. Law & Order Season 22 continues Thursdays on NBC. A UK release date has yet to be announced.